I received the uh, Marine Option NROTC scholarship, which is $180,000 and will be covering my tuition, housing, board, food, everything for four years. Well, from the start, I never had any plans of joining the Marines. I, I always wanted to uh, get into something where I could design and create, and I had all kinds of different ideas. And then I ended up settling on the uh, biomedical engineering because I figured that would be a good way because I can help people also fulfilling like my own like want and need to design stuff. And the Marine part of it came a little later because my father, he was a former Marine. He served for, the time, uh, for some time, but he went the uh, infantry route. And there's one thing he told me, he's like, I support your decision, but you're going to college. And so the NRTC scholarship was the perfect way for me to be able to go to college and still become a Marine. I found out about it through a friend who had gone through the Air Force option at the University of Michigan. So the uh, uh, Air Force ROTC program, mm -hmm. and she recommended it to me because I wanted to join the Marines, but I still wanted to attend college. Mm -hmm. And so she told me that yeah, you can just do college and still go through with all your training at the same time. And I thought it'd be a great idea, so I went and applied for it. It's looking like Eastern Michigan University right now, okay. because I've applied to the University of Michigan as well, and I would prefer to go to the University of Michigan but I'm on a wait list right there mm -hmm. because there's been something going on with RTC applicants with the College of Engineering where they're just put on a wait list. Okay. And so if I don't hear back from them soon, then I will be attending Eastern Michigan University. Now, what will you be studying then, engineering? Uh, yes, I, okay. want to, I want to get into biomedical engineering and help advance and design more prosthetic and artificial uh, body parts, limbs, such things such as that. And I feel that the reason I want to do it is because I'll be able to help people, but I also feel like it'll help me a lot because it's just the idea of self-sacrifice and making yourself a better person, and I feel like if I can make it through this, I can make it through anything in life. I had to write several essays, uh, do two officer interviews with two current officers, uh, pass the PFT, physical fitness test, and then meet the qualifications in terms of grades, and I sent in my SAT score, my ASVAB score, my transcript, grade reports, all of that. I'm not sure how many applied, but I'm aware that only five were chosen for it. I believe it's statewide. I kind of felt like I was dreaming, especially when they brought the big check-in. I couldn't really believe that it was happening, because this is something like I've dreamed about, and I've actually, I've been told by like, other recruiters and people are like, oh, not many people make it that route, and they try to push me towards just going through an infantry. But then I just kept saying no to that, kept going forward, and I'm really glad I was able to make it.